is the only constitutional amendment that goes to everybody, not just states or the, or the nation, which prohibits slavery or badges of slavery. And the Principal Chiefs Act, as well as the Agency and Procedures Act, which is when the United States acts inconsistent with its own policy, then you can sue them. So the Cherokee Nation intervenes in this lawsuit because we only filed it against the U, uh, U.S. officials. Um, that, that, that the case must be dismissed under sovereign immunity uh, because they weren't in the case and couldn't be in the case. The courts denied the Cherokee's motion to dismiss in December of 2006. Next slide. So during the ban action, a, a case gets brought into the Cherokee's own court by Lucy Allen, who brings it pro se with the assistance of a Cherokee um, uh, individual and a non-attorney. And they go to the highest court at the time, the Judicial Appeals Tribunal, and that said that um, although the, the Treaty of 1866 ensured freedmen's citizenship, um, the voting laws denying them the right to vote was unconstitutional under the Cherokee's own, own law. I may not get through all of this, and I'll get it later. Um, the chief uh, attacked the judges uh, after reversing what he said were 30 years of Cherokee law, dismantled the court, uh, and established a new court, packed it with new judges, and that's what's, uh, what, what's here in the new case today. The Cherokee citizens supported, uh, supported by statements of the chief and the deputy chief to initiate a petition to vote the freedmen out of the tribe. The new court uh, ruled three to two. Remember, there were, two, there were three judges before who went two to one against them. We have now two more judges putting the majority in, said it was okay to have this new election, and they had such an election. Next slide, please. Within a month the, of the, uh, the ban, the Lucy Allen decision, the principal 